Today we're going to make this light up PCB badge and review the basic PCB workflow on the Bantam Tools desktop PCB milling machine. Power on your machine and launch the Bantam Tools milling machine software. You'll notice a few things. First off, there's lots of room still on your desk with this machine at your side. And our software gives you a real-time display of the current machine and its spindle location. We provide default milling speeds for the tools we sell in our store, so you can begin milling right out of the box. But as you get more comfortable with the machine, you'll want to use our custom tools library. Here you can enter custom speeds and feeds for the tools you're using. Using the advanced speeds for PCBs found on our site, you can typically shave about 50% off of the total milling time. First, we need to install an end mill and perform a tool touch off. This allows the machine to locate the tip of the tool. We're going to use a 1 32nd inch flat end mill with a bit fan, which helps clear material from the cutting tool during the milling operation. Insert the tool roughly 3 quarters of an inch and tighten down the collet with the included tool set. Then begin the probing operation. Our machine uses a conductive bed for precise and reliable tool measurement. Next, we'll measure our piece of FR1 and load the material into the machine. We're relying on double-sided tape to hold the material to the spoil board. We can enter in the thickness of this tape as well as the thickness of the FR1 in the material section of the software. Now let's open up our project file. This specific file contains our circuit board file as well as a few SVG files containing our graphics. Our software can read Gerber files, EagleCAD files, SVGs, and G-code. These files can also be manipulated in terms of scale and placement. I'm going to add my name to this batch by adding one more SVG to our current plan. Let's import, adjust that into place. Okay, perfect. Once everything is placed, you can rely on the preview to make sure it looks right. There are a few red markings indicating that this particular tool won't mill the fine details of this text, but I'm okay with that for this design. The circuit will still function as intended. And let's hit start. Using our advanced speeds and feeds, this simple PCB badge takes about six minutes to mill. If you're just starting out, you can rely on the default speeds as well. Slow and steady is fine too. Remove it from the spoil board, solder it up, and hello world. 